Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is your lady, and today I wanted to share with you all my DT project for the new book shop. I did a traveler's notebook joint journal, and this was following a tutorial from Easy Big Crafts. I did all the covers, the insert, the pockets. Uh, just like she chose in her tutorial, she was very uh, step by step, very nice. Um, the only thing that I changed was the style. Of course, I had to do it like chubby chi and girly, you know, making my own. Um, and the paper that I use for this traveler's uh, journal is the Law History by Prima. And I dye the papers. I use this spray bottle and I put uh, the dye here. And I use this dye. And I got this a uh, Hobby Lobby like almost five dollars like four dollars something and i put it in this bottle and this is a tip from the lady from the tutorial she put ta uh, tea dye in a spray bottle and then she tied the papers so i did just the same thing except that she air dry her papers i was in the patient so i baked them so after i sprayed it um, i baked the paper so it will dry faster and i could continue with my project um, the laces I will show you step by step every time that I show you a layer of lace I will show you what lace I use and all that stuff now this is my traveler's notebook journal and this is my packaging and I try to make a cheap bag I have seen a lot of people making those cheap bags so I give my try so you see all the score line because I don't have the machine that made those marks i use my scoreboard and i start scoring at one inch uh, all this so it will have you know those little lines in there so because my paper is white and, and it's also dye as well it's a little bit of pink uh, i don't know if the camera will get that but i will show you that in a moment first i want to show you the traveler's notebook and I, of course, like I say, I wanted to make it my own. I followed the tutorial, but I wanted to make it my style. So I use uh, the, the Magnolia Tilda stamps. I color them. I just color the skin and the hair, and then I paper piece the dress because it was a lot easier. It was a lot of stamps that I was coloring, and it was so, so tired already. So, yes, so and always the uh, color more is the skin and hair. It's more easy for me. So here in the cover, again, I dyed the papers and I distressed them with, um, sorry, I thought that I had it with me by not. I, ha I used the Victorian velvet. Um, so yes, yeah, so because again, uh, my color uh, was pink. So I wanted to use everything that was pink and will work with my project. So I distressed all the edges here. And the paper, this is book paper. Now, this book paper is my stash when I was doing the John Journal. The, I was also the one for Rene Bouquet's DT project. I was altering a book into a journal. And, of course, all that ripping paper, I reuse it here. I distress it. I did, I did I know. I dye it with the ripping, <laughs> with this. And then uh, I distress it and then I bake it and all that stuff. All the paper has the same process, even the design paper. As you can see, here is the, the dye. And this is the design of the paper. But again, it's all uh, dye with the, with the ink and distress. Now, here in the front, I use this gorgeous lace. And let me show you. Because sometimes because of the layer, you can appreciate the lace, but the lace is absolutely gorgeous. And I love using it. I have used it many times, and you probably can't see it by now, because I love using this. And it's just gorgeous. I love the embroidery, and it came in two colors, the white one and the beige one. So, yes, yeah, so this is the white one. And you can cut it in a half and use just one half of it. I'll use it just the whole piece. So I use a piece of that lace in here, in my first layer, and then I glue this. Uh, this was an uh, embellishment that I received in a swab, in a flip swab a long time ago. Um, I use it here now. She, the lady, she used some cheese, um, cheese cloth. No, this is eyelash string. And here is this string. This is the, the tool string, the pleated tool tree and Rene has it in pink and beige color as well so this is the pink one so yes so what I did was that I just glue my stand image in there let me close a little bit so you can see it mm. 
I'm trying for the camera to focus. Okay, now. So, so you see, I put the, the, the girl there and I, I put stickers in the hair and the clothes and the hairband. So, yes, so this is how it looks the front. So then I grabbed it with seam binding that was given to me by uh, Christine. So thank you so much, sweetie. She gives me some seam binding. So I use it here to grab this. And then I use this bubble. This is, um, it's like a fairy bubble. And this is also from Renee Bouquet's shop. And she had it with the beads in different colors as well. I just use the white one here. So the, the, the binding is just the seam binding and you just grab it around and that's it. It's no, it's no much science to it. The, it doesn't open like, oh no, if I don't close it, it's gonna open all, no. So this is more like a decoration purpose than anything else. So yes, so this is here. Um, now here is the back. The same thing you hear, you see more the dye of the paper. And this part here, I stamp, I use one of my stand, it says, happiness is handmade. Uh, so yes, so when you open it, this is the first page, and you see all the dyeing in there and distressing. Now, this is an envelope uh, made just for this, o sea, for this traveler's notebook. I don't use, you know, you could use um, the envelopes that you put for mailing, but you will have to be larger. So to fit this eye, she chose how to make the envelope and everything. So the closure, she used Velcro, so I decided to make this one. Uh, we with the string like this with the em embroidery thread and you just do that so to decorate it because all the all the papers are so uh, stitched i don't know if you have noticed that they are all stitched and the envelope as well you can see here so here in this part just to give it that chubby you know that chubby touch with the lace i use this gorgeous lace um here it is I have all my laces here so I can show you. Look at that gorgeous lace. It's not that gorgeous, it's all embroidered and I just love it. I love the size, I love small trim so you can put in stuff like this in little spaces. So yes, so it's very beautiful. So I use in the envelopes here just to decor the part and everything. More uh, book paper and then when you open here is this and now here I just put these images but this is for you to put pictures if you want to so yes so it has acetate here as you can see and I just put this image without coloring because I was by this point I was already tired of coloring so I just stamp them and I just put it like that so it's just to give you an idea what you can do with this now here again this the same lace from the envelope I just made like a banner piece and then I stand good times. Now this is the back and here is where you put the pictures and everything, you see? So that's what you do. So this is the, the pocket sign. And it's a stitch as well. The stitching, now when I stitch with paper, my sewing machine doesn't stitch that pretty. Uh, it's different when I sew, uh, sew fabric. The, the sewing in the fabric is very beautiful, very neat. But for some reason, I don't know if I had to change something in my machine to stitch better the paper or not. If you know, please let me know because I'm very, um, you know, I'm very new on stitching papers. Even when I do it a lot of times, it's always the same problem. Is the stitching is always very uh, no neat. So yeah. So this is a uh, those the cane in here. So you close it. You can put anything there. That's just an idea of what you can put in there. But you can put tas or curls or anything. So here is one of my first pages. Now the pages are not the same size. Even when I cut it the same size, but I think when you bake the paper. Um, you know because it, it came all like corrugate um, and grumpy uh, I think it, you know it came like mismatching so here is my first paper again this is vellum paper um, and here I stand the same image from the front but I stamp it with embossing powder in white and then I made like embossing in a hard shape and this is like bubbles um this is with glitter we have glitter embossing powder 
so you don't see the design very much. But it was like to give it that touch. Now here is the other side because it's a balloon. Obviously, you can see the other side. Here is a tie. Again, all is distressed and, and dyed with the with the dye here. I put some tool in the top of the tags. Here is some paper. Here, this is the like a folder, like the folder of the traveler's notebook. So this is mine. And I use again here is the same design paper, the history paper. Um, like all the papers is dyed and distressed in the edges and stitched as well. You can see the stitch in there. Now for this page, I use another image of the Tilda, Gold, uh, Tilda uh, Magnolia stamps. I paper piece the dress. I color her with my copies, uh, the hair and the and the skin. Then I use this gorgeous embroidery. Uh, this is uh, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is a the embroidery rose, pin rose um, trim. Look at that. And this is like a uh, five and a half inches wide. It's huge. So what I did was the, I cut a piece. It was like this this amount. And then because the space is very small, it's a four and one one eighth of an inch like this in white. Um, so I what I did was the I corrugated the lace and then I glued it. Then I put this other lace in here and that one is ta ta ta, -ta. I oh I think I don't let me okay. Is this lace? I thought they had it outside, but no. Is this lace? And it's so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> so I put a piece on here in this side, and then oh my god, I'm in love with these strings. Uh, this is a a flower applique string, and you can cut it if you want to. And that's what I do. I cut the flower and I put it there. I load the the flowers in the center. So that's what I did. I just cut a piece and put it there. But you see, it's a different flower you can use it the whole piece or you can cut individual flowers so that's what i did here i cut individual flowers and i think it's so so pretty i love it i just in love with that dream so when you open it here is a pocket again it's distressed with the in paper and here i made like a tag and it puts more of that lace i put a tool again in the in the tags now that ring here is this one here and it's a butterfly in the top you see it's very beautiful very beautiful and so this one is just like this it's like the same design just different in the top let me okay is this one so I just cut one piece and, and put it in the tag and everything you know Thing like this for kind of project you can do just uh, like you uh, snippets and put here and there just to accentuate accentuate more the chaviness of the project so here is a uh, more pages uh, another tag again all is dying and distress here uh, this is one of the hearts from the pocket that i showed you where is the picture team uh, this is the the heart that came out so what it is the, i just make like a sisa stitch in here like you know those broken hearts so that's what I did, I just stitch uh, uh, on the side and then I distress it and then I just put some tool in there and it's held by this by this clip in here and and on the other side, that's why I don't take it out because I don't want it to lose this side so in the other side I made, I made like a, another towel, a bookmark, you can call it too. In the back you can grab because even when I distress it with, the, with this sponge team um, it's still wide enough for you to grind. Again, it's a stitch all around it, as you can see. In the, in the front part, I put more of the book, or the book paper. And here, I gorgeous, 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 this is the embroidery lace. Now, all the, in, my, in on the video, I will put captions so every lady will be showing because I forget the names. So, I thought it was easy for me just to show you and put a, a caption there to with the name of the lace so you know. Anyways, in the description box below, I will put all the links of the materials that I use for this project. So, here is another of those stamps. Again, I color her with my Topics. I paper piece the dress and also I put a lot of stickles just to shine that uh, in the hairband, clothes. So, yeah. So, this is a, a bookmark a slash a tag. So, I just connected with this. 
I'm trying to see. Yeah, put it right. So here is more paper. This is white paper. This is vellum, blue paper. This is a uh, white paper. This is the center. Now, mm, the inside is actually a stitch, uh, like sewing stitch. And the only part that is no stitch with my sewing is this from here. Why? Because um, I needed to I needed to do to put something else in top. I could I can't remember now what it was. So I had to st um, I stitch it like three times. So then at the end I decided you know what I'm gonna stitch it with this uh, because I noticed that a lot of people do that this kind of stitch uh, for their journals. So that's what it did. But it has the sewing stitch as well. You probably will see it if you put the the pages up. You probably will see it. Because the only pages they, they are not stitched to the book is like three of these, these three. But so it's very secure there, like the pages. That's something. So here is more balloon paper, and uh, here in some of the balloon papers, I use acrylic paint in pink because um, I want to like to have different tones of pink. And so, yes, yeah, so I put the, the dye that I was using, and also in some pages I use acrylic paint and I just made a mess in my mat, and then I put the pages in there. And I say a mess because it was actually a mess. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so this is what I did. Here is more white paper, all this dress. And here is the side of the tag. Here is more of the vellum. Here is the book page. Now this book is fr was from Dollar Tree, so I don't even remember what thing it was because I don't bother to read it. I just bought it to do journal, so yeah. So, so here is the end of the folder. Here is the other side of the folder. This is a, a one whole piece. This, it, the, these pages are in here. Okay, they are connected to the folder. So this is the other side of the folder. You can put anything here, and here is another pocket. I just put some stickers in there. Uh, these um, stickers for for planners and stuff. So here is more of that butterfly train here, and here I just put documents. I use my uh, typewriter to put that there, and then you just fold it and you continue. Here is are the balloon paper. And here I emboss as well. This is the same girl that I use in the bag. And I just, I, I punch flowers in a piece of paper with this sponge. And then I, I tap my, with a little sponge, finger sponge. I tap the, 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 the pattern with the, with the paper. We emboss in ink and then I emboss it. Here more book. Here is the other side of the paper. Here is more balloon, and here is the last, the last envelope from the other side. Again, the same thing here. I made the same process, and here I just made a tag with some uh, tool trim. I put stickers in there because actually I put like a, a three of pearls in there, and it was too bulky. It was too bulky for the pocket, so I take it off, and I don't like the glue was seen through when I pull off the, the, the purse. So I put stickles to cover that. So this is the tag, again, the stress, the stitch, and everything. So again, you put in your pocket whatever you wish. The pocket has hinge, and here is half an inch hinge, so you can actually open and put stuff in there, you see? The envelope had a stitch as well. So yes, so um, it was very fun to make. And uh, here is the back, like I showed you. So yes, I really, really love this. I think it came so, so beautiful. Okay, I was just tying it for you, so I don't take too much time, all your time. So here is the bag. So I wanted a place where I could uh, package the traveler's notebook. And uh, so I decided to use my scraps that what was left over of the of the project, and this is the only pieces of paper or book paper that was left, and it was just three pieces, three scraps. So I tried to <laughs> to uh, accommodate it in a way that it will cover enough space of the front, so it will see like too empty. So then here is a piece of the paper, and I just distress it, 
and I put, I, this is a uh, die cut, they have my stash. So what it is, that I just stamp homemade with love. And this bowl with this rose here was given to me by Christine. Hi, sweetie. And uh, Christine, uh, every time that she sends happy mail, she makes the most gorgeous packaging. And she makes it with very simple paper doily and this beautiful bowl with roses. And I don't know how she does it, but it's gorgeous. So I reuse the packaging, this part over here. And then here I put uh, a little piece of this same trim this one and this was a uh, layover of the project i have cut uh, some a piece uh, bigger than i was using so i use it here and then i use some a uh, tool trim in that part over here to lay my door uh, this um i glossy accent the center of the flower i glitter the shoes and the dress and hairband i color her again with my copics and so yeah so that's what i did I pop her a little bit with chipboard in the back so it will be a little bit pop and more firm. And here I put the other petal of the flower. So, yeah, like I say, the papers are all dry. I put this overnight. This was the only one that uh, I let overnight to dry by himself because I did it in the night. So I just went to bed and let it dry. And the next day it was just like that. So, yes, yeah, so all I had to do is put my project inside. And I made the, the bag that will actually fit my project. You see here, it's actually, let me see how, like how many fingers, like four fingers. So when I close it, it's not going to damage anything. Like say, oh, the person is going to open it and I'm gonna use in scissors. Oh, it's going to damage the project, not. Because it has enough space to breathe so the person can safety, um, cut the, the, the top part to get the project out. So this is how it's gonna look. Now I did, I tried to make like a boob mark, but it was very simple. I don't do much in it, just put some beads in there. And I just going, I was going to put in the bags, uh, you know, the hand in there, but it do, wasn't looking right, the right way I wanted. So I just put it there, just to the side, just to show you that I actually did a boob mark and everything. So yeah, so this is all my project. I hope you all like it. I really had a lot of fun making this. And again, I will tell you, all the links will be in the description box below to Renee's shop, to her blog, to her Facebook group. Now Renee opened a Facebook group for everyone, for everyone to share their projects with Renee Bouquet's products, uh, you know, to to share with, with all the crafters on Facebook. So yes, yeah, so I will let that link in the description box below as well. Um, you have to request to join in, that's, that's something. Um, also, I'm going to let the link to every product that I use and all of that, okay? Um, thank you so much, everyone, for watching, for always supporting my channel and my craft. And thank you, thank you. And we'll see you later on with another project. Uh, thank you again. Bye-bye.